Hi, I'm Wesley Kempton with TribeAthletics.com here to take you inside Tribe Media Day where we got to catch up with several Tribe football players. Trey McBride, uh, the end of last season, you were named to all sorts of all-conference teams and, and kind of all everything. You received so many accolades. Now we're a couple <coughs> weeks till the start of the 2014 season and mm -hmm. the accolades are, are starting right back up again. What, what does it mean to you to receive that kind of recognition? It means a lot. Uh, I take all the accolades that I get and I take them with a grain of salt just because I don't want to uh, get too ahead of myself and try to stay humble. But uh, it definitely shows that they're out there and they notice what's going on in the tribe. They recognize you know, the success that I've had over the past couple seasons. And uh, it just uh, <clears throat> really fuels me to make sure that I get the postseason honor when the season's over with. Now you, you said you want to keep yourself humble. This is a broad question, but what motivates you? Uh, well, what motivates me most is, you know, my family. You know, they've always had, they've been so supportive throughout this whole thing, and they expect a lot, and, and uh, it's not at all any pressure, and I like that they expect so much. And, uh, you know, just for it all to be, when, it, when it's all said and done, I want to have achieved everything that everybody expected me to achieve. And so that motivates me the most. And also, you know, just having, the, having a winning season and going to the championship is, is what motivates me also. You, uh, you set the bar a little bit higher for yourself last season because of, of your dominance returning kickoffs. Mm -hmm. um, and you had done that before, but I mean, you really brought it to the next level and you were named CAA Special Teams Player of the Year. Uh, how are you able to be such a well-rounded player in the field? Because you rush the ball successfully every once in a while too. Yeah. How, how do you bring that well-rounded approach to the field? Well, I mean, when I was growing up, I was a running back in high school. I was running back in high school and off the rec ball. So uh, I didn't really start playing receiver until I got to this college. Uh, and once I learned how to play receiver and, and, and got as close as I can to mastering that in my four years, um, <clears throat> I just uh, went ahead and got what, I, got what I learned from back in the day when I used to play running back and uh, returned kicks in high school. And I bought it to here and it just came out naturally. And uh, you know, I do what I can, I just act on instinct. So it's all really just, uh, it's just an instinct, uh, instinct thing. It's not really a, like a learning process, just go with the flow. You just, just run. Just run, yeah. <laughs> How much do you focus on numbers, statistics? Uh, I mean, I try not to focus on that much at all because you can really get out of your game when you focus on, uh, you know, I want to have this many catches and this many touchdowns and this many yards every game. Uh, I take every I take every play as as that play in itself, and uh, not try to foreshadow anything. Obviously, we all have goals what we want to get to, but when you start paying attention to the st to the st statistics too much, you know you. Uh you get out of your game, and you that you wind up having a bad game. So, so not focusing on any game in particular, but what are those goals for the season? What, what would you like to achieve? Uh, I would, would, would like to achieve about you know 80 catches, 80 or so, definitely at the least 80 uh, receptions. Uh, I want to have 10 touchdowns and about 1,500 yards just on receiving alone, and then you know to add on the special team stuff, yeah, that that sky's the limit on those yards. Well, best of luck, and uh, and thank you very much. Thank you so much, Trey McBride.